Good morning, gentlemen. So with today's video, I was once the king of cheapies, but my crown has been taken from me. From that beautiful, bald-headed bastard, Ross from the channel TLTG. Gonna have to give that man a run for his money with this very video. So let's just get it started. Fragrance number one, don't have a bottle, but I reviewed this one a couple years ago, and it's a really great bang for your buck. Kenneth Cole Blue. Citruses, amber, cedar, and sea notes are what you're gonna get. This one is just very fresh, blue. It's relaxing and it has that sea salty vibe. This kind of has a bit of a, like you're by the ocean, you're on the beach and you're getting that sea breeze hitting your face. Very relaxing scent. Also very uplifting, very casual. So this fragrance here can be worn to school, work. It's not exactly the most professional fragrance, but I do think that it's fresh enough for the office. It's not going to get you through the entire day. However, this is about five to six hours tops. But Kenneth Cole Blue most certainly is a great bang for your buck scent. Fragrance number two, Burberry, Mr. Burberry Indigo. So if you like minty base fragrances, then this one here, you're going to like. This one has loads of citrus, violet, rosemary, mint, sage, and watery notes. This one here is definitely a great feel-good scent. What I like about this one here is the green herbaceous touch of rosemary, which I know that I believe that that's a very, um, Ross really appreciates that note, but the mint in this is really nice. It really adds that green herbaceous uplifting touch. This is a great casual scent that can be worn to school, like I'm thinking more of a university student. The Kenneth Cole Blue definitely can be used for high school. That one is just ageless. But this is good for university, but also for a grandfather. So school, daily casual, but I do think that this is professional enough for the office itself. Longevity, six to seven hours. Fragrance number three, this one does make a lot of people's cut. And for very good reason. It's a very fresh, uplifting, mass appealing, easy to wear scent. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. This one is just fantastic. This one is very, very aromatic. It's very fresh. And I would say one of the freshest fragrances that I've ever come across when it comes to designer scents. This one, this one has woods, woody notes, lavender, musk, and grapefruit. Just super fresh. This is really like out of the shower fresh, okay? So this is really a casual kind of scent. So it's great for school, high school, university, for work, it's not exactly professional smelling, but it's fresh and safe enough for the office, especially in a world nowadays where people are becoming more sensitive to, to scents. This one is not gonna offend anybody, and you can go a little bit more liberal on the sprayer. I'm not one for like being a heavy sprayer, but like 10 sprays of this, you're not really gonna choke anybody out. Longevity, five to six hours. Fragrance number four, this one, great. Chrome United by Azaro. This came out in 2013, and the reason why I know that is because that's when I started reviewing, and the quality was pretty shitty back then, and it hasn't improved much since. But you get loads of bergamot, or just citrus, pepper, coriander, violet tea, musk, and cedar. This is just super fresh. It's uplifting. It's a great daily casual scent that can be worn to school, like university, to a grandfather age. Great for the office. Longevity off this one here is six to seven hours. Fragrance number five, this one just does not get any mention by Fragum. Nobody has really talked about them and it's a great scent. It's from the brand of Azado, but this one is gonna be Solarissimo Lavanzo. So this one here is a very green scent just like the bottle itself. But what you're gonna get, you're gonna get tea, basil, lavender, mint, ginger, but also passion fruit. The passion fruit adds a nice fruity touch. You're most certainly gonna get the mint, the basil, lots of tea. So if you like tea-based fragrances, this one is really nice. This smells like of quality. Yeah, it's a little synthetic, but I would say that this is one of the better fragrances from Azado. Azado does great cheapies. But if you want something that smells a little bit different, that really does not get it a lot of mention, it might sound a little bit more fancy dancy, Solarissimo Lavanzo, you might like this one here. Longevity, six to seven hours, and this is a great casual scent, but also 
work scent. Fragrance number six, oh boy, it's warm in here. Oh God, I wish the AC was working, but it never does. This one will most certainly cool you off. You know what, let's just spray it right now. Fragrance number six is gonna be Davidoff Cool Water Wave. Oh, that is so refreshing. It, it does have that cooling down effect and it really does boost your mood. This has juniper berries, sea notes, grapefruit, sandalwood, and birch. This one does not get a lot of mention in this online fragrance community. A few channels like Max40 have and others I can't really remember. But this is just a great casual scent. I think that someone who's in high school can wear this with ease to someone who's a grandfather. This one is ageless. This is great just casually to school but also, you know what, if you wear, let's say, cool water during the week as your work scent, you want something that's a little bit more chilled, this is a great weekend scent. This fragrance does not have a lot of that cool water DNA, a little bit, but it's pretty much like if Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, but also Paco Rabanne uh, Invictus Aqua, which I'm not a fan of, like kind of like shacked up and had a, had a kid, that's what this pretty much is. This is just incredibly fresh. It's woody, it's a little bit green, not a whole lot, but it really does have that cooling down effect. Longevity, five to six hours. Fragrance number seven, this one does not get any mention at all. I'm pretty much the only guy in the com that has talked about this brand pretty much, but Zippo's Mythos, yes, Zippo, the lighter company. So this one here is a very fresh, clean, invigorating kind of scent. This does have some some of that DNA of Versace put on. So in some ways, it, like, I do find that it does smell like Versace put on. And the longevity of this is not bad. It's pretty much on par with Versace with five hours. But this fragrance does have musk, jasmine, sea notes, grapefruit or lemon, and patchouli. So this fragrance is just fresh, clean, out of the shower, and musky towards the base. Super casual, high school, university, grandfather, you name it. Fragrance number eight, if you like tropical fragrances, then L1212 Rouge from Lacoste is one that you're gonna like. So this one here has a really nice mango note. And the mango in this is really unique along with that Robios tea. And I'm mispronouncing that one fully. I'm quite aware of that. Oh God, it's so warm. <laughs> but the mango and the tea accord are really unusual. Throw in some benzoin, cardamom, but also ginger. And that's what you're gonna get. This pretty much is like, a spicy, zesty, tropical, fruity, mango, and tea fragrance. Very casual. This is pretty much just casual school, like tropical vacations. And longevity of this, not bad. Six to seven hours. Fragrance number nine, let's go with a brand that I plugged mercifully a couple years ago. Ferrari Cedar Essence. So this, the name itself is a little bit misleading because cedar, there's... Even though that there's woods to this one here listed, it's not an overly woody scent. What it is, however, is like an airy, musky, very fresh, fruity kind of scent. This has mint, watermelon, sea notes, lime, cedar, and cedar needles, and that's pretty much it. What I get, I get like a musky, airy, fruity, lime, citrusy, fresh kind of scent. That's what this one pretty much is. This is super casual. This is school. I, w I would not say that it's really work, but you can wear it to work because it's not gonna offend. But the airiness to this one here is very fresh and it's uplifting. Longevity, six to seven hours. In fragrance number 10, this one I just reviewed literally just before filming this very video, but Jaguar's Pace Accelerate. So if you want something that's very close to this one here, this one is completely polar opposites. This is woody, spicy, earthy, and musky. So what you're gonna get, you're gonna get loads of woods, vetiver, coriander, vetiver, juniper berries, citruses, but also jasmine. There's a slight floral touch to this one here, along with that lily of the valley. There's not a lot of florals. It's pretty much just woods, spiciness, with a musky, earthy base. And the woods is from top to bottom, period. This is very masculine. It's more masculine than this one here. These are both spring and summertime, but I would say that this is more office friendly. 
This is a great scent, however, and I think that someone who is 30 and up would appreciate this one a little bit more because it does have that a little bit older scent profile, in my opinion. This is a great versatile fragrance, dressing it down to work daytime semi-formal, but it's also like a casual night out as well. Performance, excellent, nine to 10 hours. So guys, that's it. I gave you 10 summer cheapies for the summer of 2021. I will be doing another video like this, and I have to finish it now because that battery has been flashing for the last five to eight minutes. So if you want to see some other top 10s or top five cheapies that I've done in the past, then check out this side here. And if you want to check out some, some cheapy reviews, then please check out this side here. Any reviews that I've done from this brand, they will be in the description below. And before you go, please give me one of these. Guys, thank you for your time. Take care, and I'll see you later.